much for my education and they sent to uh, me in London, United Kingdom wow. and opened the new window for my life right. because you know United Kingdom has got lots of different country people live each other okay. li living each other and then start my musical career all right so you started your musical career in England yes and how old were you there I was 16 you were 16 yes. at that particular time. Yes. So what were you doing in England? Were you studying over there initially? Studying international politics yep. and, and then uh, music. All right. And, and, you, and you even studied music? Yes. How was it? How was uh, uh, studying music in England? Yeah. And when I was in uh, high school, uh, my teacher uh, heard it, my voice. Yeah, you have got an amazing voice. This is tenor. All right. So like Italian style. And when I was singing Turkish there, and then start the English, and they sent me Italy, okay. the islands of Italy, uh, uh, Sicily. Okay. And I went to university there, and uh, I developed my voice, the tenor technique there. How did you Italy. do that? I mean, what is the technique? Can you can you share it with us? Yeah, the, the tenors using the these parts. Okay. This yeah. Parts. You must take very powerful breaths, yeah. and you must be supreme. <laughs> Oh, I cannot scream away. But you have that amazing voice. Thank you very much when for saying you, that. When you're talking, I heard that you are bass baritone. Yes, thank you very much for saying that. But you know, only if I uh, would have had, uh, been to uh, Italy or Sicily, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have learned singing too as well. But other than that, you know, so when was your first release, you know, and how happy were you when you came up with your first song ever? And what was the response? You yes, had? and then I went to Turkey because I missed a lot my mother and my family. Yeah. And uh, I started to learn how is the Turkish classical music. All right. Because, you know, we had an amazing history in yep. Turkey. It came from Ottoman Empire and Persian, Arabic countries. Yep. And also we affect so much Urdu, Armenian and Kurdish. Ar yes. Kurdish, Armenian, yes. And we had an amazing culture, very rich. And I learned all of them. And I started to my Turkish music career. Right. And one of the most important men giving uh, lessons for me. And I started to give concerts in Turkey. Wow. And I saw the people's effect so much wow. my, to my voice. And I was so happy. And uh, thank you so, so much again, Turkish government. They give me opportunity and I'm giving the lots of concerts all over the world now. Well, that's great. And you're definitely making Turkey proud as well. Thank you very much for doing that. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a music video to share of our instance as well. Please go ahead, take a look at this superstar Wonder Boy. Good morning. <laughs>
Dalva, it's such a fantastic music video because why do you guys be watching this music video? I was actually asking Arsene, what's the concept of the video? And he's like, that you know, these women, that they are here to kidnap me. And yes, that, that's what it was all about. And music has no language. And the, the music actually gave me that feel and vibe too as well. You know, the music is great. So, because you have actually been singing in so many different languages, how do you stick to one genre? Or do you even stick to one genre? Yes, of course, but I must listen so much time. Okay. I put in my <coughs> headphone, my earrings, and listen, 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 maybe 1,000 times. Okay. And I must sing very well and good accent. Exactly. This is respect uh, in other countries. For example, when I was in... I'm in a stir. Dear sir, uh, the US MBA degree has been done. And I have been in the University of Central Punjab, MSC Sports Sciences. Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, Chile, Mexico. So all the radios are playing my songs there now. Oh, wow, that's great. It's very nice. How, how do you feel to be an international star? Uh, I um, I see myself just a singer. <laughs> just a singer because I want to give the love to people. Exactly. And I'm... situation is so completely different. The people are feeling like a member of their family. Yeah. Because you know, star life is a very, um, very far away. Yeah, it can be stars, tricky as well. Stars is unique and living alone, nobody touch you, but everybody touch me. Yes. Because I love to hug people. Well, that's I want great. to help people. Well, that's great. And since you mentioned about love, so what about love in your life? I mean, uh, uh, um, I mean, I don't know whether you married or not, so I'm actually going to ask you, do, do you have uh, somebody who you love as well? Because you, you definitely share the love with all the people out there with your music, but then you obviously need a companion in life. Yeah. What about Especially, that? I'm so sensitive, so emotional guy. And then uh, every time I say in my concerts, my name is Love. Yeah. My uh, identity card number uh, name is Arsene Faik Zade. <laughs> Because if you feel in deeply yep. in your heart the love, you can sing and you can help the other people. You can reach the all the world. Yeah. Because I try to hug the all the world people. That's great. It's a, I don't interest religion, nationality, race. I don't interest with that. Great. Because the, we are human. Yes. We must be love each other so much. That's a great answer. I like it, but my question is still there. <laughs> so obviously, if you. You know, I like I like this concept, and everybody who's on television, even me, you know, anybody else, you know, we are here because of the people out there because they want to see us, right? Yeah. And we definitely love them, we hug yeah. them, whatnot. But then there's this one person who comes into your life, <laughs> and she's really worried about you hugging other people. She yeah. does not like it. Do you have that person in your life? Um, yes, I have. <laughs> wow, that's great. It's out. Yes. Well, so so when you think about her. Do you actually write songs when you think about her? Have you ever done that? Yes, of course. If you have got the love, it's real, truly love. Yeah. This love uh, gives you energy. So are you going to share that energy with all of our viewers as well? <laughs> are you going to sing something of yes, that sort? Yes, of course. Oh, go ahead. Let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a hug from Harrison Feigza over here on Wall This Morning. Let's do that. I would like to sing very emotional love songs, but Farsi. All right, Farsi. Persian, Farsi, we love Persian. Persian. Yes. Uh, I think and Pakistani lovers and friends yeah. and followers understand this song. Name is Sultane Galba. Sultane Galba. You mean? Yeah, you understand what's the mean Sultana Galba? Sultana Galba means the my heart. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Ye dali mi ke beram beram ye dali mi ke naram naram thodet na dore delam delam bi to chekonam. پیشش که زیبا زیبا هیلی کوچیکه دنیا دنیا 
با یا تا هم هر جا هر جا ترکت مکانم سلطان قلبم تا هستی تا هستی در حوزه های دلم رو شکستی پیمان یاری ده قلبم تا بستی با من پیوستی هگینون گرست دورن به هر جا بر یار دیگر نبندم دلم رو سرشار مزار و زو به تمنو ای یار ای یار ای یار هی زیبا Fantastic and fabulous as well, ladies and gentlemen. That was everything fight song for all of you people. That was a love song, ladies and gentlemen. And he sang the song due to the fact that he's got love in his life as well. And love in his life is all of those people who are out there who are listening to us and who love the type of work he does as well. But very quickly, awesome. thank you very much. And you know, the, thank you. It, it was super. It was great. I'm, uh, and I want to say thank you. Tashakur mikonam. Thank you very much for coming. It, it's a uh, it's, 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 it's truly an honor to have you here on the show. But you know, there are two things now I need to ask before we wrap up this segment. Yes. So you are here to see your mentor, right? How important do you see it is for people to have a mentor in life? The people affect me so much because I watch the people all over the world. Yeah. But usually uh, the world knows and my country knows I giving so much charity concerts. Yeah. And also I gave charity concert in Islamabad and wow. Lahore two years ago. I watched the people and what they suffering, what they living each other. Yeah. If you give the concert, it's very easy. The people take your ticket is coming and enjoy. Exactly. But you don't know the people what they living. Yes. The, the real life, the exactly. really life. Exactly. And I want to touch them. Wow. I watching them, what they doing, and I try to make help. I mean, these amazing vocals, you're definitely touching them. And I Thank think that so uh, it was great to have you over here on the show to us. It Thank was you wonderful. So much. And whenever you come back, you know, this is your show. Yes, Just let you. us know. You'll always be here. And we would love to hear your new songs as well. So what about your future endeavors? What yes. are you doing? I will make a Urdu and Turkish duet. It's okay. very special name with very special name. Really? Are, are you going to it's give away the name? Are you going to give away the name? Okay, I can give Zape. 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 Yeah, oh. Pakistani amazing singer Zape. We will. She's a lucky my sister. All right. Because bride of Professor Malik Hussein Mubashir, uh, my spiritual father, and we will decide a very good song soon. Well, that's and also, I will sing song to Kuja Man Kuja. To Kuja Man Kuja. I love wow, much this song. That, that's yes. wonderful. Wow, yes. that's, that, that, it's just great, ladies and gentlemen. I think that the world actually needs uh, a larger number of people like him. Because these are the people who are actually spreading love, irrespective of the fact that what's going on in the world. And I think that this is what everybody needs to do. And everybody needs to learn from people who've actually taken out time to go to different or visit different countries, uh, learn their music and then come up with something nice or do it. And I think that it's a, it's a wonderful thing. And I would, in fact, uh, invite our Pakistani singers and musicians to actually do that too as well. I mean, travel abroad, do like do it with other people from other countries as well. And uh, the world has got a lot of uh, work and music and art to share with uh, the rest of the world. Thank you very much, Arisen, I thank you for so being so with much. us. And do you want to say anything before you? Before I you want ask? to say Urdu sentence. Sure, I write right. this. I take this letter. Me Pakistan say bahat bihar kartahu. Wow, ham bhi Turkey se bahat pyar karte hain. Ham bhi Turkey se bahat pyar karte hain aur Turkey se aane wale sabhi shubhaiyon, bhaiyon aur mehmano ka khair mukdam karte hain. So we love you back too as well. Thank you very much for being with us. I'm not going to let you go. Okay, so once I'm going to wrap up the show, we're going to have a private session as well. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's all about love and it's uh, it's all about how you think that you can actually comfort other people. Some people actually get comfort when they listen to a good song. Some people get comfort when they hug a friend. Some people get comfortable when they actually talk uh, talk things out with their parents. 
So it's always different, but I think that uh, the world has got a lot of love to share. And once you uh, sh start sharing love, I think that the rest of the people are going to be more healthier because it takes away stress. We're going for a short break, don't go anywhere because when you guys will come back, we're actually going to talk about how to be a healthy being.